While the American government, you know, was working with different groups using the control grid the Republicans brought in, um, I thought it was very funny that they would accuse China of cyber attacking them and so on and so forth. I've said it before and I'll say it again, the Chinese people are a great people, so I'm inclined to believe them about <clears throat> Um, how many people died under Mao Zedong's regime? 16 million rather than the most likely exaggerated number of 60 million. This actually comes from China. And, you know, set the record straight. The Chinese aren't helping me with my videos. Um, they are not a Chinese agent. <laughs> you know, they're not paying me to do this or anything like that. But, you know, I've pointed out before that there's a lot of people in the West who are twisting Chinese principles of Buddhism and Tai Chi as they apply to mental health. And I think this is rather unfortunate. I think that the pure Chinese approach of Chinese medicine with Chinese Kung Fu and you know, especially Tai Chi really would help people with their mind, body, and soul connection. I think the Western version is an oversimplification. Now, I do not speak for the Chinese, obviously, this is my take on it. Um, the Chinese are, are much more gracious. Um, in my top martial artist challenge, I have uh, had a lot of, we'll say, Westerners criticize my martial arts achievements. And the Asian community has pretty much been silent. They give me a lot of respect and it has been duly noted. So with everything considered, um, I do believe that the world would be a better place with China in charge of it rather than the West. And I know this is not something that people are voting on or, you know, I just thought I'd add that in as well. And that Asians have treated Africans more fairly than the West for whatever it's worth. Also, I'd like to note that, you know, the Chinese people are beautiful people. Bruce Lee was one of the greatest warriors. And, you know, the Chinese and the African Americans are pretty much neck and neck when it comes to producing the greatest warriors in America. And I think that is very important to note as well, since there are probably more blacks, African Americans in America, and more Chinese, uh, excuse me, and less Chinese Americans. So that speaks for itself. Also, when you look at politics, Jackie Chan is above the, one of the most honest people when he talks about politics. So, you know, I think it is, it is rather unfortunate you have people twisting Chinese um, beliefs and interpretations. Now, you know, I'm not a liberal myself, but I do believe that this country is better off with a liberal president for the same reason the Chinese president has mentioned, and that is that um, the climate change issue. Chinese uh, are working with, you know, the Democratic Party to, you know, fulfill the agreement that was made with Obama um, to reduce emissions and what have you. And I think that, you know, Republicans are a greater danger to human rights and to the earth. And the liberals, you know, I, I, don't, I don't have too much trust in the Democratic Party, but when it comes to certain issues, uh, I believe that they have it right. Uh, I don't believe in feminism and almost gay rights and all this type of stuff, you know. But, you know, that's, that's what I want to say about that. I, want to make this, I don't want to make this that long of a video. It is Thanksgiving. Um, I just wanted to show you, you know, I'm thanks, thankful to God, first and foremost, for all my blessings. I am a Christian, you know, and I'd also thank, you like to thank, you know, the Chinese people for all their patience, um, all their due diligence, uh, all their achievements, all they contributed to the world. And I believe that Mao was not as bad as the West would like him like to make him sing and a lot of the people that passed away you know may the rest in peace were a result of him trying to help the Chinese people uh, bring in more socialist and communist principles that would allow them to enjoy uh, an increased standard of living in a very difficult global economy a very difficult time in history and hopefully it's better it gets better in the future you know, I, I, I compare myself to Bruce Lee because I believe that, 
you know, he was one of the greatest uh, fighters in American history. His principles are applied and considered by a lot of great fighters to this day. And um, Chinese Kung Fu is one of the most formidable systems, and I would say the most formidable, complete system of combat arts, of self-defense, and of martial arts that I've ever seen. Um, I'm a strong believer in the same principles they are, and I've often compared myself to being a taller version of their body type. You know, being these body types allows you a lot of versatility, uh, you know, dexterity, the speed, and the intensity you need to defeat your enemy. And most of my the martial arts systems that I'm working on, uh, with Mansu Arts, you know, a lot of it um, considers capoeira and Chinese Kung Fu. So I, th I thought that I would bring this to your attention because it needs to be said. You know, while this government was covertly drugging me and abusing me and doing all kinds of horrible things, even Christianity and Islam did not allow me um, an argument that would disprove many of psychiatry's harmful arguments, and that is that the mind, body, and soul connection, and what we have seen with Tai Chi and healing and gentle healing uh, energy and the chi and, and how my culture and the Chinese culture have the same word for spirit or energy, uh, or energy spirit, if you will, which is chi. Um, that needs to be known as well. I'm, I'm referring to the Igbo culture of southeastern Nigeria. So I know the government is going to look at this, you know, and think, you know, well, this guy's doing this, thing. Okay, look, you know, I'm on the side of whoever's right. And as it stands right now, right now, China is more in the right than America is, and it's probably been like that for a long time, you know, certainly in my lifetime. And if a war was to break out between China and America, I would not be on America's side, and that is all I would like to say. Thank you. One last thing I forgot to mention. In 2012, in late July, I believe July 28th, when I was taken to Valley Medical Center and eventually transferred to La Silva, I had a lot of things in my background. One of them was a Chinese um, communist uh, poster with the Chinese hand in the air. I believe one hand was holding an AK and had the chains on his on his on his uh, wrist, broken chains. Okay, and that came from China. A friend, a close friend of mine, had given me that from his trip to China. It was already a little bit ripped and it was thrown away with a lot of other of my stuff. Okay, this these are these are this how these people do it. You know, they never treated me fairly. And, you know, I've always, I even used to consider myself a communist. So this is something that I have seen for a long time. And, you know, a gift that was given to me today that I show, I've shown you in the last clip is what brought it to my attention. You know, you really got to look at the contrast between the peaceful Eastern culture and the war mongers of the West. And it doesn't take a genius to figure out why a lot of liberals have chosen to incorporate a lot of aspects of Chinese culture into their own lives and personal philosophies. That's all I want to say. So here I am, you know, on the holidays, you know, uh, well, you know, Thanksgiving, wearing the sweater that was left outside my door, I assume it was given to me by my father, and I just can't help but think, you know, a lot of people who are into Re, you know, researching the occult and seeing what they're up to. You know, we're all, I think, all, all of us are disgusted by the holidays. And me personally, it has to do with mainstream social norms and mainstream expectations, your family and friends' expectations as well. Um, so in the end, you know, we end up, you know, in this, this sort of situation. And, you know, Without knowing, I released a video, you know, a little bit without thinking about it, about how the white man offers you his wings, uh, or wings, because he wishes to make you his victim, and how that applies to Thanksgiving, you know, and what have you. So I think when you truly think about what these holidays are truly representative of, or what they truly symbolize, it is the European or a 
occult Judeo-Caucasian infiltration of religion and culture. So you see, um, you know, how Thanksgiving is about Native Americans, right? But it's really about the coming of the cultural imperialists and how they do it under the guise of peace and fun and happiness. And there's a lot of darkness to it. You know, they're mixing the light with the dark in a very occultic way. There's good things that happens on these days and there's bad things, you know? Um, that's very occultic. You know, this idea of, you know, oneness, the monad, um, commonalities, and so on that new age religions are pushing is very satanic. Because to say that everything is one and all part of one, then the good and evil are all part of one as well. And God and the devil are part of one as well. And it's, it's a very dark, demonic way of looking at things. That is an attempt to bring in mainstream acceptance of Luciferian doctrine as part of nature and the world and God consciousness. Very demonic. Very unfair. To me, you know, I, I can't help but notice there's some ethnic groups pushing this more than others. And then there's other ones who are involved, but they're more saddened and unwitting uh, or unwilling participants, rather, or, you know, they're forced to do it, such as you see with gangs. They're not exactly enthusiastically participating. They are more like coming to the conclusion that they should do it to avoid their own demise or to make their life easier and whatnot. Very sad. Because then the term white devil seems to have a lot of truth because it does seem that rich whites and rich Jews are the most enthusiastic participants in the New World Order and that is very tragic. Just wanted to give you, you know, my two cents. Um, I'm not supposed to be making videos. I'm really trying not to. But, you know, every day there's things, you know, it's like trying not to do God's work. The world is very disturbing and it demands that I intervene and offer you my perspective, which is much more respectable than the perspective of complete sellouts and traitors to humanity. So I'm going to end it there, you know. Um, hopefully I won't think of anything else that uh, I feel uh, the urge to express in videos. Again, you know, it's very sad that mental health, you know, the word forlorn comes to mind. Mental health would have you believe that people like me who are outraged, you know, feel more outraged, who think that what they're doing is rather distasteful, you know, are mentally ill, we're obsessed, um, you know, we even have idiots compare me to people with Asperger's and, or autistic people. Or, Really, it's really, really sad. You know, and I've been speaking about mental health for a long time, and a lot of it has to do with what they did. If they hadn't targeted me, you know, I wouldn't feel the need to call them out for it. Oh, and all this was part of God's greater plan to expose their evils, to help people make the correct choice. When you sacrifice um, your standard of living and acceptance and the easy life to do the will of God and to make a stand, then you find the path to heaven. And those that do not, do not.